Hey, it's Veronica from Woodpecker support team. I'm here to show you how to add an image to your email copy and some other options connected to doing that. Let me show you my computer screen. The most important thing in this process is generating the link to your image, meaning that you have to upload it to a server or a hosting service, which will provide us with a URL. Let's start with uploading the image to the hosting server. In my case, it will be IMGB box, but you can choose any hosting service you like, as long as it provides you with a correct link and HTML code. Click on the Upload Images button to select a file and choose the image from your computer. After setting everything up and uploading the image, you'll be able to copy the links generated for you. To add the image to Woodpecker in the simplest way, you have to click on the Insert Edit Image icon in the top bar of the email editor. For everything to work properly, your link has to end with JPEG or PNG. Click to add it and it's done. Your image should be visible in the email copy. You can also choose to include the image by pasting the HTML code to the message. Copy the HTML code from the hosting service, go back to Woodpecker Editor, switch to the HTML view by clicking the text to HTML icon and paste the code in the right place. Then switch back to the text view to check how the image looks in the email copy. Now, if you'd like to add a hyperlink to the picture, you can simply do that by clicking on it and choosing the insert edit link icon. In the pop-up window, type or paste the URL and click the add button. If the image size is not appropriate for the specific email, you can always change it by grabbing the corners of the image and minimizing or maximizing it. For the more advanced users, there is an option to change the size in the HTML view. So in your code, type in width and height after the link and provide the numbers that will define the image size. Make sure it's written correctly, as the numbers should be typed inside the quotation marks, just as you can see here on my screen. After doing that, check if everything is correct by switching back to the text view. By using snippets in Woodpecker, you can easily personalize the message to each prospect. This feature can also be applied to personalizing images, so in the specific snippet place, a prospect will see the picture chosen just for them. To start, add your image URL to your chosen snippet field in the prospects database. You can also place it in a separate column in your file and when importing it to Woodpecker, match your field with the one in our app. Next, while editing your email copy, switch to the HTML view and insert the snippet as an image source, in the form you can see here on my screen. When you switch back to the text view, the image will look like a broken one. However, once you send a test email or choose to preview it, it should be displayed correctly. Now that you know how to include images in your emails, Remember that adding too much graphic content can have a negative impact on the deliverability of your campaigns, so use this feature wisely. If you need more information on this subject, you will find some links to useful resources in the description below. As always, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.